is Lars Craft Guru, and thank you for buying the Magna Maze. And also, thank you for joining us on this amazing video today, where we're just going to be teaching you how to build it. So, let's get started. So you need a couple different things that aren't included, and they're pretty easy to get. Allow me to grab them. Whoosh. Okay, number one, you need Elmer's glue, or wood glue, either works. A hammer, and uh, parent supervision, and of course, Dad, get the pa paper towels. This is why I need you. This is, this is why you're here. Clean up your mess. Yeah, yeah, but you need paper towels as well, just to you know clean up messes that you accidentally make. I do. Um, out of glue. Okay, so let's just pull everything out. So of course we have the maze. We have the maze walls, and um, first step after you pull everything out is um, here. Let me get everything out. I, I'm not following my own steps. So, you have to look at these maze walls. One of these is not like the others. Move that one to the side. Allow me to explain what you guys got. You got acrylic here. You got four feet, so that the maze is easier to move around, doesn't scrape hard surfaces. And you have four nails. And of course, you have your little magnet character to move around in the maze. Here's the first step. Take one of your pieces, and take a nail and lightly, do not do this very hard, make sure it doesn't go through the surface, tap on this, okay guys? That's the first step. Step two, put some glue right where the, right under where the nail, you put the nail. Now, put these like this, okay? And while um, these two pieces are together, like this, have a parent or guardian, like my dad, he's doing it right now. Don't hit my fingers! <laughs> <laughs> Hold it while you hammer the nail into place. And make sure it's flush, guys. So, there's uh, the first one. Next step, take the nail and put it in the next hole and lightly tap just like you did before, just so that it doesn't go through that hole. Okay, then of course, repeat and put some glue right there below the nail again. There you go, guys. And then, take your piece and do this. Next, have your parent and guardian again, hold it while you hammer it into the place, into place. Don't worry, Dad, I won't hammer your fingers. There we go. That should be flush. There we go. Ta-da! Now, we take the maze, and through these big slots, make sure the large craft guru is pointing up. Slide this into here. Oh my gosh, oops, I'm off line, guys. I'm off the line. So there's two big slots, and you just gotta make sure your maze goes through there. There we go. Next, take the acrylic. Peel the blue stuff off. It's very clear stuff. And uh, yeah, so this is what it should look like once uh, it's done. You can slide the acrylic into the smaller slot, guys. Like so. We, of course, have to add our little character, our magnet guy. Boop. There he goes. Okay, in there. Okay, next, we must put these nails and lightly tap them in, just like last time. There we go, lightly tapped. And yes, we need that piece, Dad. So, we take our hammer, lightly tap it in there. There we go. We put glue right here, on the side right below the, yeah, that nail. And then on this piece, put glue right here. Just like all the other times, yes. Okay, then slide it on with both glues facing the opposite of each other. And this is what it should look like when, uh, <laughs> this is what it should look like when, after you do that. And then you just have to hammer the nails in, as before. Promise I won't smash your fingers off, Dad. 
And of course, if we were messy, um, which we were, paper towels. Okay. And um, of course, last last step, we take our feet, flip the thing over. So these things are like kind of like stickers. You just peel them off and then put them um, decent, you know, close to the corners, but not on the corners because they are not level. So yeah, right about there, I'd say. And the feet, just make sure, as I said earlier, just that you don't scratch wood surfaces. See, doesn't make a weird scraping sound. And your maze is done, guys. Now you can play a hole you want with it, with this magnetic stick. Okay, guys, I'm going to do this. I got this, I got this. Dun, 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 dun. Wow, I'm doing really well. I usually don't do this well. <laughs> and I'm doing it really fast too. How am I doing this? making it yeah well, you know it's not easy it should be uh, more like uh, easier <laughs> I just want to show another cool thing about the uh, magnet maze if you take it and you move the, the stick to the side like this it, now you can like it'll stand it'll transport the, easier it'll transport you can stand it on the table it becomes decorative or you can put a nail on the wall and you can hang it up on the wall like, like hi. that it looks really cool. it's great for coffee tables yeah, you know, like, so it, it's really, table. it's really fun. Trust me, this guys. For when your iPad dies, you need a challenge. Yeah. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. And don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. Goodbye.